What's going on everyone and welcome to the TC Trading Channel. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a complete walkthrough of the public trading app and platform here on our mobile device. So without any further ado, we're gonna be diving right in. There will be timestamps below this video to go to different sections that you may have questions on, but we are going to go completely on through from sign up all the way through using the platform and using the app. So right now we have public pulled up. We have downloaded the app. So you come to this page and you will either be able to log in, get started or enter a code. We'll leave a code linked down below in the description box of this video to get a bonus when you sign up to a public, but we're gonna click on get started right here. Enter your phone number, then your name, email address, and a couple other things, information, and then from there, you'll be all good to go. Now you get to claim a free slice of stock. I am personally going to pick Tesla stock because why not? I like Tesla. You can go after a bunch of different options here when you sign up. They're going to invest up to $5 of that stock. So. There we go. Next step will be setting up your investment account. So from there, what you can do is enable notifications. We're gonna skip that for now, but we'll continue on through to enable investing, enter in your birthday, enter in some more things like your full legal name, a couple other questions they're going to ask you, social security number. And then from there, it'll then go into asking you your investment goals. For example, for me, I'm gonna look for growth as of right now. And then in terms of my experience personally, I, I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but I would say I know what I'm doing for the most part at the end of the day. And then you enter your salary, your yearly income, estimated net worth. A lot of these apps do this, Robinhood, Fidelity, Weeble, they're all gonna ask you these questions. This is common. And then once you answer those questions, they're gonna get a good profile on you, then you'll be able to make your first deposit. Either you can link a debit card or link your bank. Personally, I would link my bank. It's just a little bit easier to do so. They make it super easy to do so when it comes to linking your bank, which allows you not to have to pull out cards and stuff. You can just log in from your phone. So just like that, you can go and find your bank. They have pretty much every bank possible uh, on here. You can search for your bank and then enter information, connect your bank account. And just like that, you'll be able to access funds, deposit to your account, snap of your fingers. From there, enter your bank information, a couple confirmation codes. And after that, you'll be all good to go. See, if you have a success. I have successfully linked my bank account to public. You can select your initial deposit just like that. And then from there, click on some of your interests so that they can build you out a personalized feed. Once that's all set, you'll be able to go into your feed just like that, your home page. You can discover stocks just like that. And on the top of the screen, you're going to have, right off the screen, you're gonna have scrolling a bunch of the indices. So today, what happened? S&P was up, NASDAQ was up, the Dow was up, the Russell 2000 was up. So it was a green day across the board. Nothing crazy, but it was a significantly green day. So we can get a, get a good sense of the overall markets just like that. We were at the homepage, at least as of right now. We can scroll through what is trending on public. We can scroll through some of the popular users. We can throw through some comments. And then we'll have options like the top movers. We can scroll through some of the top movers from today. What was moving? AMC was a stock that was moving. We click on AMC, get a good action on the price. We can look at the price action the past couple of months, past couple of days, just like that. They're even gonna give you a high risk kind of notification right there. This is a potentially risky stock. They're gonna do this for more penny stocks. Stocks like AMC, kind of a meme stock that's been pushing on up, short squeeze very volatile stock. So at least it gives you an alert. You know what you're getting into before you start diving on in. They'll give you a, they'll give you a nice about feed. And then just like that, you can dive on into some of the recent news, some of what's going on behind the scenes in AMC. They'll give you some of the current ratings on Wall Street right now, indications from Wall Street that this is a sell, at least as of right now. Uh, it's between a hold and a sell. We can look at some of the earnings information and get a lot of the stats just like that. So as we start scrolling down through on a given stock, we can see the market cap for AMC is 5.44 billion. The volume today was 186 million shares traded, which is pretty substantial for AMC. And then some recent activity and what is trending on AMC on the public platform. Next thing we'll talk about is the search feature here. So we can click on search at the bottom of our screen and we can search for stocks or we can just search for users. So for example, if you had someone you want to look up on the platform, you can search them up. Now, if I wanted to look up, let's say Roku stock, I go on to here, I type in Roku. And next thing I know, I can have Roku pulled on up. I can get a quick action on the price action. I get a quick look at the price action for the day. And the same exact thing in terms of the community who's following and watching the stock, I can dive through some of the ratings. We have more of a strong buy here for Roku. We can click on some of that, see some more of the details into the analysts, some recent price targets, EPS, the market cap, things like that. They're gonna give you a great understanding of what all these things mean. So public is a really good app in terms of you know, for that beginner investor, that beginner trader, and they don't sell your order flow 
like other apps, like even Robinhood does. Uh, and that's one of the biggest things that happened back when, you know, we saw a lot of stocks like GameStop, AMC making their initial runs back a few months back or, you know, back in, it was January, February of 2021, they made their big runs. And we saw that brokers got halted. We saw that there was the whole issue of selling your order flow and what that means and how that's not really empowering that retail trader, that retail investor. So that's what public is here to do, ideally. Next, we're going to go to the inbox feature. So we have messages right here. You can actually chat privately with other investors as you interact in the community, which is really cool. I think it's a it's an awesome app. Now, Weeble has a feature like this that Weeble community posts, and so you kind of have that aspect on Weeble, but public also is kind of going for that as well. So what we can do, we can tag them, we can kind of use that cash tag, that dollar sign to tag stocks, and really it makes things super easy. So we can click right here, is I can go to my inbox, I can start a conversation, I can join a group, if you have a code, I can create my own groups and I can chat freely with other investors and other traders on given stocks and on stocks that I'm watching. So it puts you all in the same place, which is really cool. So there you guys have it when it comes down to the basics of setting up your account and getting access to all the different features. Once your account is approved and that deposit is now actually active, we're going to have another video going over how to buy and sell stocks on the Publix app. So hopefully that was helpful and hopefully this video made some sense to you in terms of what you can do on public. Now, what we're going to do next is once our deposit clears and once we are now eligible and our account's approved, we're then going to start buying some stocks. And so we're going to show you guys how to do that and the different options you have when it comes to that. We'll make a separate video just for the purpose of keeping things somewhat timely. So stay tuned for that. And if you're watching this video after the fact, check our public playlist and we'll have a video under there on how to buy and sell stocks on public. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Consider subscribing and liking the video if it helped you guys out and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.